How's it going everybody? Nathaniel from RC Inside here and today I'm reviewing LEGO City Set 60279 Fire Hazard Truck. This is from the new LEGO City 2021 wave. The set has 87 pieces and retails for $10 in the US. It comes with one minifigure and just basically this main truck build and then also these four little um, just circular uh, two by two bricks with a flame in them uh, logs on fire is my best guess for the fire hazard truck to clear away uh, so nothing too interesting about these I'll push these to the side already since we've covered them and we'll take a look at our minifigure so taking a look at the one minifigure we get in this set uh, first I want to highlight that this guy comes with this new helmet piece i wasn't sure what to think of it at first uh, but after getting the set and putting it on i really like this helmet piece i think it looks very sleek and stylish and the visor fits in there nicely uh, overall this is a really cool piece and i hope that this becomes standardized for firefighters because it just looks so good uh, on on the minifigure i think it's a real perfect complement to the fireman's outfit Taking that off and looking at the minifigure himself, uh, it's just a single-sided face print. Uh, you can see there's kind of some scuff marks there up around uh, his, his eyebrows, and he's got a beard. And so uh, not a crazy unique uh, face print, but a decent face print nonetheless. And then for torso and leg printing, you can see he's got that reflective uh, shimmer on his printing, which is uh, accurate to what real firefighters would have. Uh, the leg printing is the standard uh, fireman leg prints that we have got for years. Uh, however, I do like the torso print here, as well as the back printing on the torso. I like the red accent along the top there. I think that's a nice touch, but again, it's not an incredibly unique print, but overall a decent minifigure and you get that new helmet piece. Okay, so on to the main build of the set now. Uh, this, this fire truck is definitely different from anything we've seen in the past. First off, I want to point out that this is a printed piece at the front here. We, uh, we do not get any stickers in the set, so that is a printed piece. Uh, the plow on the front here moves up and down. Uh, and also side to side. So, you know, if you're again trying to clear, I'll grab my logs back, trying to clear away some of my logs here, just come in and uh, bulldoze those away like that. That's, that's what that uh, plow is for. There is a little space in here to fit the firefighter. You can see there's a steering wheel and he fits in with his new helmet piece on even. And I just slide him in like so he fits in no problem uh it's a it's a perfect fit it's a tight fit but he fits nonetheless uh and then there's also the blue sirens at the top and then at the back here uh we have what i assume are these two side pieces to kind of simulate a water tank and then there are two places uh to clip on uh, accessories one is for the horn or loudspeaker that the fireman has and then the other here is for uh, the play feature which is a rope attached to just one of those cannon features and there you can see it a little better uh, and the studs for that play feature are stored in this back container here uh, where it's supposed to be water and so you can pull out a, a stud of water from there clip it on to your your water cannon and then shoot it like so uh, so that's kind of all the play features you get with this set except for one other thing that i want to talk about and that one other thing is of course the highly touted new turning feature that this set has there's two lego city sets that have it and this is one of them uh, you will see at the bottom here there is a new piece um, it's kind of hard to tell on camera but there's a new piece for both these wheel connections uh, and it's a, effectively a little bit of a suspension so you can see the vehicle rocks from side to side and so that allows for legitimate turning uh, which I think is a very nice touch whoops yes so you can see it moves very nicely the wheels still move just fine um, 
but very clear uh, that this vehicle can turn. It feels a little wonky at times. I think part of the wonkiness is just due to the proportions of this vehicle and how it is uh, four wide basically for the entirety of the vehicle except at the front where it just slims down to two wide. I think that makes it uh, feel and seem a little off but other than that yeah uh, I really like this turning feature a lot. Uh, I was not expecting it to maneuver this well, uh, but it does excellent. As you can see, I can do like a 50 point turn. Um, yes, so I really like this new feature and I hope that it actually becomes relatively standard for new uh, vehicle sets. I think that would be really nice if it did. So that is really all that is significant about this set. We'll just take a look at the instructions in the box and then kind of give my final thoughts on it. So the instruction book for this set is just a standard, uh, you know, less than 100 piece instruction book, uh, not a super big book. Has the uh, QR code on the front as has become standard for LEGO instruction manuals. And uh, at the back here, we get to see just uh, the collection of the new LEGO City fire sets for this year. Uh, no nice layout of them all, just all listed at the back there, which I miss when they did the whole scene with all the, the new LEGO sets. I, I kind of miss those, but uh, yeah. So that's the instruction book, nothing too interesting or unique here. And then same thing with the box. It's a standard $10 box with a little uh, push in at the back and it opens up. I still got the bags in there. Uh, the, the new LEGO City logo that's been around for a few years now uh, with the turning action feature advertised on the front and then the back you just get a couple different scenes one of the other play feature and more uh, pictures of the new turning action and that is it for this box nothing too crazy so overall i think this is a decent set pretty good value for the price point i like the build it's a fun little build the highlight here is obviously the new turning action feature uh, which is almost an exclusive to this set. You also get a nice new helmet piece with this firefighter minifigure. So you've got two uh, sort of exclusive elements going for this uh, small $10 set, which I think is always nice incentive to get something like this. And overall, it's just, it's, it's a fun little build and it's not expensive, will complement uh, any LEGO City well, I think. So overall, I think this is a good set to buy, especially if you're a collector. It's cheap, it's easy to build, and it's just a fun, cool looking little set. I still do think the proportions look a tad off, uh, but overall to get a couple play features, some exclusive or near exclusive pieces is always a plus and enough of a draw to make this set worth it in my opinion. So that's my review for the fire hazard truck guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did click the like button down below to show your support. And if you're interested in all the Lego reviews that I have coming soon, uh, click the subscribe button so that you can see those as soon as they come out. And with all that said, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.